mom and dad always said gossiping about people is not a good thing. It's just, you you know, say less, listen more, say less. Gossip, either idle gossip or having ill intent towards someone was just not a good thing. So gossip itself, the word, you know, gets a bad rap. Should it get a bad rap? Is it, Are there some redeeming qualities to gossip? I know someone who says the answer to that is yes. It's our good friend, Dr. John Braccio uh, with Regional Psychological Services in East Lansing. DrJohnB.com for all the podcasts and on the other end of our line. Good morning, sir. Well, good morning to you, Dave. And I guess, you know, gossip is like most things. It can be good. It can be bad. It can be neutral. But just as a definition, it's the sharing by a person of factual or unconfirmed information about someone or persons not there to an individual or group. Okay, sounds um, pretty innocent. Okay, up to 80% of our conversation to one degree or another can relate to gossip. But I guess when we look at it, we want to give here anyway examples of what is good because if we really think about it, we're often talking about persons, not necessarily a negative way. It can be we can be talking about, you know, Mary just um, returned from from California or something like that or whatever it might mm-hmm. be. So I guess when when we look at it, um, where gossip can be helpful is it certainly can lead to a healthy social interaction about sporting or work personnel. We certainly you and I've talked, and certainly you starting the fifth quarter, you certainly many years ago. You're certainly there's a lot of talk about what play, coaches are, are who are going to be coaching, what, what players are injured, True. what's going right. on. Even like the Indiana game this week, we don't really know if Penix is going to be playing. So that would be kind of gossip. And when we identify dishonest persons, that can certainly be useful to people. Give warning about potential inappropriate behavior by someone who could harm them if there's somebody dating somebody or with persons to kind of let them know, assuming this information is accurate. Then general human interaction about impressions of others. This is certainly something that we do all the time. Sharing of information just may be of interest. You know, you just find out that Lake Superior has more oil, more, more, more water than the other Great Lakes combined. I mean, that's, um, you know, something I read. That's kind of interesting information. Um, fun anecdotes that keep the conversation going. You know, Aunt Millie's hat that had um, fruit on it and all kinds of things as she was walking around. Something like that would be a fun okay. antidote. And then friendships are based on good observations. They can be about others that can cement them. You know, if we if, if we look at the world the same way, analyze things the same way, this can lead to good friendships. Then we can learn and reinforce social norms, you know, what are really acceptable. You know, okay. if you work in a place where people wear ties or if they're casual, they certainly said something as basic as that. And we just by our observations on persons and on situations, we can impact the views of others. We can resolve disagreements by gossip, getting information, explaining it to people. Then we can assess and evaluate others and their reputations by what we hear. And then we can impact our, it impacts our roles in a social group in terms of how we interact, how we analyze people, how we look at things. So gossip. Obviously, the negative thing would be lying or dishonorable things, trying to destroy people's personalities. But as a whole, gossip is a very basic thing and can be very useful and is quite quite useful and something that we do every day, even if we're not aware of it. It happens all the time. So where did you pick up a negative connotation? Because it, it definitely has one as well. If If someone is thought to be, you know, engaged in endless gossip, you're not complimenting them. You're not saying you're not listing off some of the things that you just put in those boxes. So where where did it become a negative and how does it become a negative? Well, I think it's become a negative because the the, the bad part of it is so bad. Okay, what I mean about that, if you're lying about someone and you're yeah, trying to right, destroy right. their reputation, right. then I think that's really very negative. But if you and I are talking about um, like let me just give an example. I just heard that from the injury in the in the uh, Miami Michigan State game that the quarterback is out for the year. Okay, that was an mm-hmm. injury that that was incurred. Okay, that's you could call that gossip. Or the Indiana, like I mentioned, the Indiana quarterback this week is he going to play or not? That's kind of gossip. You know, you really don't know. You know for sure. So I think we all do. We can talk about politicians. We can talk about. 
investing. We can we can talk about a lot of things that we hear. I think the but but the negative part of gossip, talking about another person in an untruthful way, you know, lying about them, backbiting, those aspects are so horrible that that's what we think of. But generally gossip, idle gossip is just kind of chit chatting, talking and really we um, do it regularly. We, you know, my children don't live in my house. They're in their forties. Uh, but again, my wife and I talk about what they're doing. We share information. Sure. But, um, it, it just, it just our friends or whatever it might be. That's part of part of life. So I think what we really want to do is get a broader definition of, of gossip and be aware that um, you, you could even call gossip talking about the weather, like you were doing here just a little while ago. You know, the, the weather's coming from the south to the north, okay? That doesn't normally do that, okay? Nope. <laughs> Usually off Lake Michigan. Well, to me, he could, I mean, that's interesting information. It's also kind of gossip in a way. So I might share that information myself today. So these are... Um, so I think if we look at conversation, generally that would relate to people, not necessarily about the weather, but just would, would, would relate to people. Those are things that we do all the time, but it's generally just sharing information. Like, did you know this happened or this person did this? Or I did not. This friend I see now that. I have a show filled with endless gossip, and I didn't know that before. But, I, you know, the way you've talked about it here with the actual definition and you broadened it out a little bit. I mean, I think that's good in the sense that you're bringing positives to the table that go with that word. And, and frequently we tend to, you know, we black and white everything, don't we? This word is, you know, everything that it connotates is not good. This word is all things good. And the reality can be somewhere in between. You know, there's some, there's definitely some gray area. And this is, again, the broadened out uh, bit. I mean, you could say gossip here. And being able to engage in positive gossip is is basically the art of being interactive and conversationalist with other people, willing to impart information and take some in at the same time, right? Well, that is really true, Dave, and that's why it's interesting that gossip in itself has taken on a very negative connotation. Sure. I put back on your question. I think it is because the negative aspects – of backbiting, of lying, of deceitful sure. right, right. comments. Those are so bad that, you know, from, you know, Iago, you know, and Otello, you know, where he's out just torturing, the, you know, Otello to, to the point that he eventually even kills Desdemona for a horrible thought. I mean, it, it really using negative lying and, and, and misconnotation, doing all kinds of negative things that he did, Iago did in that play by Shakespeare. But, but again, in, in general life, when we're talking, we tend to think of the negativity. But again, general discussion, sharing of information, making observations in a group. That's what social groups do. You know, we get together, we, we talk, and it isn't really trying to be negative because we could just say, you know, that, that Billy, what a guy. You know, nobody could hit a home run like he can. Or, or Billy, you know, did he, he just got a promotion? Or, you know, Billy really deserved the promotion. He's really a hardworking person person you know that is true on the other hand if billy lied to get a job and someone knows that that's the kind of information that can be there too if you're kind of warning Negative, someone right, in right. Terms of, and if someone's dating somebody that you know has been deceitful and you really have that information these are times that the type of information that um you know that can that can be can be helpful but again it, there is that fine line between negativity positivity and just neutral kind of information too. But again, my purpose here, what we and I are talking about, our purpose is to be talking about the positive aspect, sharing of information, giving information. Like you have children living in different places now. So when you share information, that's mm -hmm. what you can call that gossip, but it's really, did you know what your brother did yesterday? Or did you know what your sister did? Those are, that's good information. And that's kind of even can lead to cohesiveness by by doing sharing and things that are positive. So that is a meant to be a positive use of gossip. So have you, have you dealt doc with, um, positive. with patients of yours who have a difficult time engaging, even in this most, I mean, basic of human communications and again, sharing information, maybe receiving some back. Uh, it may be entertaining. It may not be, it may be about family. It may be about something, you know, in the culture, but they just don't have a, they have a difficult time kind of, you know, reaching over that bar. And to do that, is that a common thing or an uncommon thing? Well, it, 
people that I work with, it can be common because people that meet with me often um, can be socially shy. Okay. And really not, not comfortable sharing information or don't know what information to share or are, have a overdeveloped conscience so they think that any information can be negative. So, yes, that can be a relatively common thing. I don't think in society as a whole people are fearful of just sharing information. I think the danger is if you're sharing misinformation or you're taking um, things that might be true and making them as true, okay, or if we tend to always speculate on a negative way, you know, that old Chucky, you know, that kind of thing well, we don't want you know, it, to Exactly, and I think that, um, you know, part of that is, um, um, is a generational thing, too. Again, to my parents, it wasn't, they wouldn't have been talking as much in your positives. They'd be thinking about things they saw as a kid, whisper campaigns could sink ships, you know, things like that, that, yes. that, 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 that a casual word here or there uh, could be very detrimental. So watch your P's and Q's. But I think that's a generational thing, too. And um, and again, you're putting a positive spin on all these. And it's a very um, transparent positive spin, which I think is um, is pretty good overall. Again, gossip here. We talk about it today, the positive and the sharing by people of a factual or sometimes unconfirmed information um yes. and it's it can be very positive but as you said negative or neutral too we focus on the positive today and hopefully we've got more of that in our life but really in the sharing of info i hope on this show too than we do of the negative uh, variety we're trying that's what we're aiming for at the very least yes. even with weather patterns uh the good doctor is dr john braccio uh, with regional psychological services they are located in East Lansing, Michigan, the home of the undefeated Spartans of Michigan State. I'm just throwing that in there. And uh, you can always find the podcast at drjohnb.com. Always good to talk to you, my friend. Even talking about you is good, and that's positive, too. All right. (laughs) We'll talk to you again next week. All right. Thank you, sir. We're back in a moment on the morning wake-up. Stick around. 1320. This is WILS. 